Thanks, Chris. Well, there's a growing cultural shift on the country music scene with a spotlight on black country artists who say they've been there all along. The Power of Two's Blair Lede caught up with St. Louis's own Michael B. Witt, who made his way to Nashville, Tennessee, to hit the stage at the CMA Fest. Michael B. Witt, by way of the old rural Cahokia, says the sounds of country music struck a chord with him a long time ago. Brooks and Dunn, um, George Strait, Alan Jackson, Randy Travis, uh, the classics, and I can even go further back to like Hank, um, also one that really inspired me to say or see myself in it, which was Charlie Pride. He grew up with family on a farm, hanging out at Cahokia Downs. Had uncles and grand my grandfather came up from Mississippi, but my uncles worked the paddocks out there and we just grew up pretty much country, working horses and that's just been the fiber of my, my being. Tapping his feet to the fiddle to a genre where he says he saw little of himself. Seeing is believing. So unfortunately, growing up, I didn't see a lot of people that looked like me that were doing country music. This ain't Texas. Ain't no holdin'. Then the powerful and highly influential Texan, Beyonce, became the first black woman to top the Billboard country albums chart with act two, Cowboy Carter turning up the volume on other black country voices with banjos and harmonicas in their hearts. We've always been in country music, although we have not been prominent or, or been seen, but we've been there since the times of D. Fort Bailey, the uh, Grand Ole Opry. It didn't come on without the sound of a black guy playing on the harp. So Now Witt has taken his talents to Tennessee as a part of the lineup for the CMA Fest. It's unbelievable for me because last year I was at the CMAs just walking the red carpet, a little known artist and just kind of getting passed up by press. You can expect energy, storytelling and country music from the heart, no gimmicks. Real country music fans can see through um, the glitter and the glam and see right to the heart of what's real. So. We're safe. Safe and now seen. Wit says the music will resonate as long as you stay true to yourself. Now there's a light being shined on me. And I said once I left there, I said when I come back to the CMAs, folks are going to know my name. And here we are. <laughs> Blair Lede, Fox 2 News.